All right, hello guys. Welcome to your in-depth daily U.S. weather forecast. Today we're going to be talking about the 16th of December here, our Sunday. We're going to go through the radar real quick. We're going to start tonight starting, so very early on Sunday. We're going to have a low-pressure system developing there around the Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky area. It's going to bring rain for Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, areas like that. Now we're going to have a system moving on shore to Washington and Oregon and California as well. We'll talk more about that. Now, moving on to this is kind of your morning commute, okay? West Coast, you're already awake, and you can see it's snowing in central, north central Washington there, raining for most of the other areas. Maybe mountaintops are snowing at this point. Northern California getting a little bit of drizzles there, as well as northern Oregon. Now, rain is starting to really kick in for Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York City. Seeing some of those yellows, that's where the heaviest rain could be. Some pink showing up. We could be some seeing some snow mixing in with this one and could see some accumulation in some spots, some sneaky accumulation. As you can see, we move on to now right start approaching noontime. Again, still snowing in north central uh, Washington and rain is really moving on shore for Oregon and soon to be California as well. Uh, at West Virginia, you're seeing some rain. Pennsylvania, New, New Jersey, New York City, Connecticut, Rhode Island, you're still seeing rain. But some of the areas in the Adirondacks and the Catskills of New York, uh, mostly the Catskills, we're really seeing some snow there in those pinks and blues, starting to see some snow, sleet at times, mix. And as we move on to well into your afternoon, you can see that rain has moved on shore to California, Oregon, and Washington, like I said. And Pennsylvania, you're switching over to rain or snow there for central uh, Pennsylvania as well. Some portions of West Virginia and Maryland, according to this model. Vermont, New York, a lot of New York seeing some snow here and really rain for the coast. Is that's where the low pressure system is going to be located. Uh, snow is moving up as we move on to about 9 p.m. This is about 9 p.m. Tomorrow, we see that snow moving into kind of the northwestern portion of New Jersey and really that eastern edge of Pennsylvania as well, northern Vermont, a lot of upstate New York. You're still getting snow. Okay, and as we get to the end of the forecast period here, 12 a.m. Monday, uh, we can see some snow moving into Massachusetts, all, still upstate New York getting all that snow, Vermont, some portions of New Hampshire. And we can see the west coast, you're getting that precipitation spotty. San Francisco could be seeing some rain. Really an interesting day tomorrow. Central regions stay dry. Coasts stay wet. Now, your low temperatures right here. You can see very cold there for the mountains, and the Rocky Mountains, obviously. Central United States, you're all going to get below freezing as well as New England. Very warm for the southeast, though, as we're going to stay above freezing for a lot of areas well into New York and Pennsylvania uh, for tomorrow. And your highs... Yeah, uh, we're still talking really warm in the southeast and eastern portions of the United States. Here's your pre uh, precipitation, total accumulated precipitation. You see the west coast getting a lot of precipitation there. A lot of areas over half an inch, a lot of areas approaching two inches in those pink regions. That's going to be spotty. East coast, yeah, we're talking about half an inch to an inch in a lot of those areas. Pennsylvania, Maryland, New Jersey especially. Some portions of West Virginia and Ohio as well could possibly. And here's your snowfall. East coast, somebody could get two inches from this in maybe upstate New York or Vermont, maybe Pennsylvania. Uh, whereas Washington State, we're talking about maybe six inches plus for a lot of those north central areas. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this daily forecast and I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you guys later.